Hello, guys. My name is Gregory, and and uh, I work uh, in Coco Lab, and I help clients to uh, have better apps, mobile apps especially. And uh, yeah, that's me. You can find me on Twitter. And uh, how many of you use Snapchat? Please raise your hands. One, two. Oh, okay, five people. Okay, it's five percent. Uh, please do. Uh, I have I had three attempts. It's absolutely rubbish for the people uh, with my age. I have problems with using it, with navigating, with uh, the whole user experience is rubbish for the uh, 80s kids. Uh, but why uh, why uh, why you should use it? Why you uh, why I engage you to use it? Um, first of all, it's not for sexting. It's uh, it's not for sexting. It's uh, it's fun because uh, you don't um, you don't think like in Instagram or like in Facebook. Oh, there are no likes, you know. So you don't compete with anything. You don't feel bad when you get no attraction or whatsoever. Uh, second uh, second thing is, and it's a pretty important one. Uh, one, it's a future, like all of the young people, all of the teenagers use only Snapchat. It's like phenomenon. They don't use Facebook, they, don't, they, they use, but not so often. Uh, they use Snapchat, they, they communicate, they share with it. It's absolutely new tool, like, <laughs> and Facebook wanted to buy them, but they didn't succeed. Uh, so even if you don't want to put content, even if you don't want to see other content, uh, I highly encourage you to observe how Snapchat is growing and what uh, changes they make uh, with UI or with the features. By the way, how many, how many people here don't write codes? Like are the managers or UX designers? Because I suppose there are one, two, okay. <laughs> Three people, okay. Uh, because I'm the, I suppose, only the person who don't write code here and don't have even one slide with a code. So. Sorry about that. If you if you wanted something like this, and um, even 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 if you will have problems with the with the Snapchat, uh, there are <laughs> there are uh, many many places. Even Time Magazine explains uh, people like me uh, what are the new features, what are the new emoji things. So so this is this is huge. This is pretty huge, and. Um, so, so okay. This is about about um, uh, Snapchat, uh, and I want to. I, wa I would like to show uh, show it to you guys. Uh, my like what I do for a living. Only thirty seconds, if I may. me and there is a Miho somewhere on the on the audience oh the, on the last last row uh, he was in the photo uh, this is the app for the one of the biggest opener uh, festivals in Europe and we had a lot of fun with it uh, partly because we uh, made changes to the app and uh, put something we uh, what I will talk about later so to that's me so I'm making apps and I have an app to make an app and that's about <laughs> that's about uh, that's about it. Um, I want to show you only one graph here in the my whole keynote, and it will be it because I've heard somewhere that um, that uh, if you don't put keynote uh, graphs in your keynote, it's rubbish. So this is it. Uh, this is uh, data versus voice chart, and uh, the yellow ones is voice, and the red one is 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 data. So, uh, as you can see, I don't know why phone, mobile phone or smartphone is called phone. I think um, our children will ask uh, someday, like they will ask about this beginning presentation, this pipeline from the, from the car, what, what is it for? Uh, they will ask why the phone is called phone. Uh, we don't use it anymore uh, this way. So, uh, and please, uh, please see this, it's not 
2005 or one uh, graph. It's 2010. It starts in 2010. Uh, so it's like iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S era or time. Uh, so it's pretty pretty damn thing and uh, grows rapidly. Um, so all the um, all the traffic goes to mobile. Uh, all the revenue goes to mobile. And um, and I think uh, we don't need uh, we we can't talk. It's mo it's mobile first. It's just mobile. Like the all devices we use, it's just mobile. You don't. Um, you should. If any one of you uh, mm, or your companies uh, where you work in uh, don't think mainly about the mobile, how to be in this place, how to how to make apps, how to uh, get customers, how to get revenue. I'm pretty sure they're doing something wrong. Uh, whatever the business is, we can get into discussion uh, after on, but I'm pretty sure uh, they're doing something wrong if they are not considering mobile as their main approach, not first, main. Um, so this is, uh, this is may, uh, like the um, all-time uh, most popular 10 apps in the App Store. I'm oh, sorry, I was, I'm an I iPhone user. I tried Android, but we didn't love each other uh, yet. So, um, so there are the ten apps, and uh, why I put it here? Because I want to show you mobile or the new internet is about messaging and social sharing. Most of those, these apps, be, be find my uh, iPhone, and Google Maps, and iTunes. You are only uh, they are not in social messaging um, phase. All of them are um, focused on uh, on sharing, like uh, sharing um, everything people between people. And I'm not sure if because yesterday was the conference and uh, there was a video. Anyone familiar with the video, which uh, was yesterday very very famous? No, no one. Okay, so I'll show you. It's like it's. <laughs> Just show it. Better angle. Oh, check it. Did that come out okay? That's the best one of the 300 pictures I've taken Wait, of myself like today. Every girl in the picture is locked into her phone. Oh, Every single it's a future, one guys. is dialed in. Welcome to parenting in 2015. <laughs> They're all just completely transfixed by the technology. David Peralta. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'd take a selfie oh. with the hot dog. Selfie with the churro, selfie just of a selfie. I can't even get my phone to take pictures. <laughs> Took a picture of your thumb last week, that was good. <laughs> and television makes this thing bigger because they you know, put the huge ads in front, front of it to tweet you your photos. Work. So if you tweet a photo, Maybe you will be on the television. Knocks it into center, David, tonight. Two for oh, two. Oh, the game. The Selfies. And nobody noticed. Uh, <laughs> and I strongly believe this is a huge... This is a huge challenge and responsibility for all of us. Uh, because... Challenge because density um, of the competition in this market is growing rapidly. Um, and the second, like the responsibility, um, it was the challenge. The responsibility because you make, uh, you somehow shape these young people's lives. Uh, really, okay, s somehow, like um, UI designers uh, has to has to make their own decision. Coders, there, but uh, if you will shape the App Store, Google Play, and Windows something market. Uh, for a good place, with uh, good decisions, with a uh, good user experience, I strongly believe, I profoundly believe, it will be a good experience and good place for, for the future, because those girls, blondes, are our future. Um, so, okay, I have a four, four points, four um, things I want to share my perspective uh, and uh, my experience with making apps. Um, this is permission priming. Are you familiar with permission priming? 
Anyone? Nope? Okay, good. Story and behaviors, that's obvious. Notifications done right, that's pretty obvious. Uh, and some examples um, um, with the details. Sorry for the stupid, it's uh, Bill Clinton, I suppose, quote. So the permission priming. The permission priming is a process to, uh, on iOS it was from the beginning. Uh, in the Android, you how many people from Android? Can you raise your hands, please? Oh, whoa, 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 what? Sorry. Okay, uh, so you will challenge this problem uh, pretty soon because in uh, Android Marshmallow, I suppose, um, every time system wants access sensitive data like GPS or uh, contacts, you will have to ask user first, not in front every permissions, but you will every time have to ask. And it's good for the user, it's rubbish for you. Uh, but you will have to, um, you will have to learn um, how to do it, and uh, I strongly encourage you to look for the iOS people because they have bigger experience with this uh, since the first iPhone, the, mm, or the first App Store, uh, the problem was uh, somehow, uh, somehow um, they need to take uh, care of it. So this is like typical um, system um, asking for permission. Uh, this is Flick. This Flick is an app for like Tinder for photos. So if you have a mess in a camera roll, which we obvious everyone has, um, this app can help you with um, making any kind of order. So I'm launching this app and it invites me or welcomes me with, uh, with uh, this, this kind of notification. Hello, would you like to, that I will be sending you notifications? No, why? I don't know, I don't trust you. Uh, so, and this is very common approach, like ubiquitous uh, apps in the App Store go this way, because it's the easiest one. You want GPS, you want contacts, ask, ask, ask. But around 60% of people, maybe 55, will tap OK. And more of them, like half of them, will tap don't allow. And then you have a problem because you have to uh, you have to handle with errors, with empty states, etc. Your app is not working properly. Uh, so getting access the first time, uh, it's critical. And the first approach is a Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg approach. So uh, <laughs> I like the name. Uh, so we put all of the, all of the notifications um, all together. And this is, you know, not the small uh, apps, or not the small, small companies does that. Even Evernote, I was looking for uh, some examples. Uh, this is the newest Evernote iOS release. Huge company, everyone knows Evernote. And I wanted to add something, add a note, and, the wo and they asked me about the uh, camera, uh, location, and calendar. Guys, I just want to type something, and you, are want, to, I want, you, you want to uh, have my calendar, why? So, uh, so you know, um, it's constantly changing uh, for better, but even even Evernote uh, makes a mess with it. And I was <laughs> I was feeling like this. Um, you know, with the permission, it's like a mm, similar to pick up uh, with picking up a girl. If you if you just meet her and you, no, no one, like no one, will ask, hello, my name is Gregory, can I have your phone number, can you give me my, your picture, and maybe you will give me my address, because I will be slapped in the face. And um, so in apps, it's absolutely the same. I don't know why people treat apps like completely differently than a normal life, like completely. So uh, if I were in the Evernote and give don't allow, don't allow, don't allow. Evernote has a problem because uh, till iOS 8, it has to, Evernote has to um, navigate me, like only by copy. Oh, Gregory, please tap the first step, please tap settings, um, settings icon. Then go to the privacy, okay, privacy, and check photos, and check 
our app to allow. And I have to remember in the app, go to settings and un uncheck it, check it, whatever, yeah? It's better in the iOS 9, I will show you, shall show you later, but um, many people, many people uh, forget about that and you will have the, this problem as well, because I suppose, I didn't, I didn't see um, yet any Android settings screen with Marshmallow, but I suppose it will be somehow different or it will be made like this, but let me show you, this is uh, Foursquare, does it play or not? Nope. Yep. So this is Foursquare, <laughs> just from the App Store. I'm logging in. Continuous Gregory, fancy photo. Okay, great. Whoa, send you notifications. <sighs> okay, maybe. <laughs> Don't allow. Oh, access your locations. If even, oh, please, please notice. Even when you are not using the app, this was the developer choice. So every time Foursquare needs a location, even the app is killed. Please system give it give it to us so i tap the go to settings this is a new screen a uh, new, new new system location and they could choose while using the app why didn't do it why why i have to choose don't let me think you know this book and idea and okay while using an app uh, while using an app it's okay for me but constantly with the battery problems screw you yeah and now i have the everything i wanted so the best best free places in Krakow near me. By the way, if anyone wants to drink a coffee, this, this one, these free places are a uh, very good choice in Krakow. So, um, how to do it, you will ask. And I like this Confucius, Confucius? quote, s that success depends upon f uh, previous preparation and without such preparation, there is sure to be a failure. So if you don't prepare uh, properly, you will fail. So the first approach, uh, like the normal approach, not the Blitzkrieg, um, is benefits explanation. And I'm pretty sure you have seen it everywhere or somewhere, like beautiful photos, paginator, swipe, swipe, swipe. It looks like this. So we will, we will show you beautiful pictures, we will merge them, and you will remember it's beautiful. Please give us access to your photos. Or this is great big building, oh, this is the world, some uh, small stuff, whatever, give us current location. Good. Uh, and uh, if you, it's cheap, because there are far four or five screens made by designer, uh, but you will get about 80, 85% of clicking okay. So it's okay, but we try harder. Um, and please, please see on the location, I don't know if you can see this copy, uh, it's completely private and secure, okay? And I will show you one thing, reality versus low. On the first screen, like on the alert view, you could see, hey, they would like to access your locations, hey, they use your location to journal places you go. It's completely private and secure. And this, this was in the UI, that was what, what you have seen. Versus, this is the quote from Terms of Agreement on their website. If location services are enabled on your mobile device, our Heyday applications will passively and automatically send location information to Heyday Incorporated. I didn't agree for that, but okay. Heyday Incorporated cannot guarantee your safety and security. Screw you guys. Screw you guys, you can't do something like this. You can't uh, promise me one thing in the UI and then your lawyers will, oh no, 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 if something goes wrong, you can't do us anything. No, screw you. And I, I'm wondering if there are any legal consequences for this. So uh, if in the UI is one thing and in the TOS, like terms of service, is another, uh, is there any precedence for that in Europe? I suppose in Europe, because in US, pretty sure not. Um, so okay, um, this is the this is the one approach. The second is pre permissions, and I'm pretty sure there's a um, library for that. Uh, like um, you give the, the second one is a system notification or permission access, and the first one is yours. So if you want to see 
photos, your app, or you want to see uh, contacts or get to user location GPS, you will get this pre-permission and then ask for the proper one. And around nine, like only 4% of people who tap a give access didn't go with the okay. They go with don't allow. So it's, it's pretty, pretty much 100. Uh, and of course, if user tap uh, not now, we won't show him anything. We will wait. Mm. So this is okay, but I think uh, I think uh, the best way is to combine uh, between like I have a, I have a great example. It's a Periscope, um, and Periscope is an app to live streaming, and this is the kind of app which requires shitload amounts of permissions. It wants location, it wants microphone, it want, uh, wants uh, notifications if anyone will uh, stream it. Uh, so so every, every, pretty every permission uh, is in the iOS, the per, uh, Periscope will need it. So many, many, many alerts. Um, so what, what uh, Periscope does? F okay. Um, it will give you like information but in the context so periscope is live enable notification yeah so if you are set up if you log in with twitter everything is okay they will inform you that everything is live it's okay do you want a notification you tap yes and of course periscope would like to send you notification okay or don't allow okay because i know the context i know that i have a feeling of accomplished something of accomplishment because I'm in, it's live, it's okay. But if I want notifications about my friends, I will I will go uh, with, with it. And and there's a I don't have this picture, but uh, on the bottom of the tab bar <laughs> there is a record live. So don't watch only, but record and stream your content online. Uh, and there are three buttons: enable camera, enable microphone and enable location. When the user taps it, it will pump prompt the system dialogue. It's great. It's like easy, understandable, fair. So when I saw this, I just feel <laughs> that way. Um, stories. Um, stories, stories, stories. Um, there are about uh, thousands of thousands of thousands apps, and especially I, I took um, for my example weather apps. Uh, like, it's possible to succeed with your project in the weather category, but it's really, really hard because there are plenty of them. Um, but there's one app, and I suppose there is on the second row from the bottom, okay, Carrot app. And uh, you can make an app. I maybe encourage you to make a weather app because in my history, like four, three years ago, uh, we made a, a weather app. It was like, and it was paid one. Nothing, 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 nothing. And one moment skyrocketed the, the money. We didn't know it was absolutely accident. Don't ask me how we do it, but it was a bit of luck and uh, because people, download weather apps like generally like if you want to choose any category and you want to make any app weather is a little bit above like it's a useful tool and people understand uh, it from the beginning so but if you if you want to uh, don't go with a luck but you want to help your luck there's a, a app called carrot uh, it's pretty unknown in poland because people don't like to pay for apps they like everything like apps they like free and it's it's uh, rather costly because it costs around four euros i suppose and carrot app uh, is made by guys who made um to do app before and something else i don't remember and the whole idea is about making the user miserable so if you download their to do app the app will say, oh, you're rubbish, you can try harder, don't be a slack, go, go, go. Uh, your, mommy, your mama could uh, do it better. And they made Carrot app, and I will show you a trailer of it. Whoop. Hi, Carrot, I'm your new weather robot. Thank you.
thanks to my eerily accurate weather reports, you will know right down to the minute when it's going to stop raining. Switch between short-term 24-hour and 7-day forecasts, or swipe up to see even more meteorological goodness. So whether it's snowing, windy, or just fracking cold, you will never have more fun checking the weather. Please note that any extreme weather you experience after downloading me is strictly coincidental. <laughs> So, uh, and they, they sell this, um, they sold uh, those apps, a lot of them, like huge, a lot of them. And they have story, they have some narrative approach. They, they are different. Like when you can see all of these apps, there are, <laughs> besides Yahoo Weather, which is nice, all of them are pretty much the same. Like, okay, map, okay, some icons. One is nice. Most, most of them are rubbish, but they are somehow similar. And there's a carrot, which is completely, completely different, has a story, uh, is unique. I want to tell you about it. I, I didn't bother about any of, uh, any of them, but carrot is different. And when I was preparing for, uh, for this talk, I saw this screen. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've, <laughs> I've seen it somewhere. Do you know, have you any clue? So I Googled it and I found this. Singing in the rain, like millions of millions of views and everyone, everyone knows this song. So they put a little details, even on the one of the screen, uh, to have this fun, like to have this uh, legacy, or whatever. It's nice. It's really, really nice, and it's not only being cool and um, and being cool and making nice apps, but it works. There are only five of many, many, many media, like mainstream media, uh, which invited or talk about this app or, yeah, uh, got publicity. Mm. And the result was simple. Uh, Apple featured, uh, featured Carrot Weather in the App Store and they were number one in, ca in weather category, which is pretty shit load of cash. Uh, he can admit it. Um, so, so please go with the stories. Try go go to. I, I know it's hard. I know there are deadlines. I know um, it's not easy, but it's worth it. Like for the money, for the idea, for the fun of it, it's worth it. Users will follow. I I'm I'm profoundly believe it. Um, little big details. Um, there's an app call, called Artsy. I suppose there was a lecture from the guy uh, who works it. Artsy is a startup uh, attempting to catalog the world's art online um, where it can be discovered and purchased and if you only have 10,000 bucks you can buy from your mobile uh, any, any kind of art. And it's an app, it's nicely made, okay, <laughs> business as usual, but I saw very, very, uh, they have, oh, uh, statistics, 50,000 high resolution images, 600 mu museums, uh, okay, they, they, they doing pretty well, but I saw great examples. So this is the launching, I can go, the app, okay, see everything featured something current shows, swipe, 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 and, this picture took my attention. There is a small button near the heart icon. I will tap it, bam, and it will show me how it will look in my living room because I have no idea how. Epic, and it's absolutely, okay, I don't want this because it was too, 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 too huge. Maybe the guy, naked guy, oh, perfect, great. And they, okay, I want to purchase, please send me some. <laughs> I will send you checks by email. Um, and it was easy because they have the, all the data. They know, uh, they knew uh, what are the dimensions of the pictures. So it was only the animation of zooming in, zooming out, 
bam, and it's so useful for the user. Um, so it's really, it's not a matter of time, it's a matter of creativity. It's a matter of wanting to make a better experience and to have something different. Um, the second thing is the, I don't know if you read um, blah, 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 release copy, like the new app comes to the App Store or Google Play, and uh, I have first the bad, bad example. Uh, sorry, MobiConf, and sorry, it's not a problem with the MobiConf, it's a problem with Facebook, it's a problem with Snapchat, it's, it's a problem with all the, I don't want to say people without <laughs> balls, but uh, somehow they didn't have time for it, okay? Let's put it this way. Why bug fixes? Tell me what's wrong. Tell me, tell me some joke. Tell me what have you fixed? Uh, yep, I know you had you uh, sent the, the mobile conf uh, organizers sent this up one week or ten days um, uh, ago. But you could put, you can do better. And this is the example: City Mapper. If you want to inspire yourself, please go to City Mapper, like the release uh, release notes of their app. They are pretty awesome. This is the old screen because the Apple Watch wasn't released yet. And okay, you can inform user, this release contains support for Apple Watch. So people know what it's all about. That's right, city mapper on your wrist, A to B journeys, departures, status alerts. Of course, you can't use it because you don't have one, because it was in the, on the keynote day, I suppose, or two days uh, after. But you should know that you can when you do. It's it's really it's making you smile in the morning to to read something like this and to and to write it. Um, I don't know if any of you uh, and copy is cheap, like like making an app and program an app. Like programmers earn <laughs> lot of money, and the copywriters don't follow the <laughs> your path. Like they don't. It's really uh, and they want they have. You know, I'm a, I have a, this is my little, I don't know how it's called in English, konik. Uh, I, put a, I put a lot of effort into uh, have a great copy in my client's app. So uh, for the whole, the, the whole years, um, I have been working with many, many copywriters. And because it's a new era and it's a new territory for them, it's a lot of fun. So they will work more. They will come up with much more ideas than for the, I don't know, billboard or packaging or whatever. And, and okay, like put, put some effort into it. I don't know if, you do, if you're familiar with the story we fired Peter. Because I want to, I want to, I want to convince you that it can as well earn some attention. Anyone? Do you know this? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's the origin of the story, but uh, Wallapop said, okay, Major back in iOS 7, fired Peter. After then, <laughs> there, was, there was, we hired Peter as well. And, okay, developers fun, they know Silicon Valley, okay, cool. But, it was on Reddit, it was on CNBC, it was on Medium. Like people were talking about release notes. Guys, 2% people read release notes. They have auto updates on, they don't bother, they don't, they, they, they don't know. So uh, it's really important in my opinion. It's really important to put this extra effort to fire Peter on or hire Peter and to go this extra mile. Mm. I suppose the last thing is notifications. Mm. No one, pretty no one, uh, doesn't like notifications. Like notifications are the new pop-ups or the new uh, or the new spam, or the new emails. So, I like this. This is from the web, sorry, it's not mobile. 
this is uh, unsubscribe web page from some analytics company but I like this red button you're the boss who will go away and so many apps make the same I like that similar not the same uh, similar uh, approach like this is the this is my app it's called close up and it reminds me to make I have an idea to check how uh, something will transform for the uh, for the days months or years so I make so I'm making every each day a photo of it and that, that then the app will put a gif or video one two three uh, put a video uh, of this so it's constantly reminding me that I should make a photo but it's boring it's it's boring and another bad example some girl I was looking I was searching Twitter for bad examples and Natalie Lubin so definitely a girl constantly some football related notifications only care if I got bet on make it stop so f she got the FIFA app and FIFA app reminds her about us tells her about um, everything what's coming up and what are the what are the scores uh, of the matches she, she didn't want it she nope like uh, Crunchyroll uh, it's like some kind of movie app and th this is the similar story but in the movie uh, district uh, I don't want to see this movie I don't uh, I don't care some of you like House of Cards and some of you like Desperate Housewives you need to tell the app that you want and you like say oh if I <sighs> if there was if I like Desperate Housewives I don't but if and I put some small heart icon near Desperate Housewives series the app could tell me oh there is a new series I don't know if they, they do it or if they don't but if they do they could and not can't assume that all of the people like Desperate Housewives or like the FIFA no it's rubbish uh, so let's fix it this is the ways up I'm pretty sure Google bought them this is like navigation system and of course Google but ways as well but I don't know why Navigon doesn't do it ways have has uh, so much data data about me they know where I live because that's my wh where I work because I go there every day and and they have another data from the users who goes the same way um, and they can tell me oh Gregory sorry there's some shutdowns there's some traffic jam whatever please hurry and I don't know why Navigon Automapa from Poland don't go this way it's great experience I would pay because Waze is okay but they don't have uh, enough users but uh, I suppose Navigon and maybe Automapa in Poland especially uh, they have they has um, they have mm, uh, so um, so why not why not make great you have this data you can do it make our lives less miserable uh, with, with the traffic jams um, another example boom shakalaka you spent less than 50% of your spendable so far this week good job they only know the app only only knew that what were my ear earrings and how much did I spend and this girl it's a girl or boy whatever jing jing sees girl she loves this app really she will use it because of the cool because she feels she feel great about themselves uh, the herself <laughs> it's so easy people people are really, really easy it's every every time in marketing in apps everywhere it's me 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 everything is about me and if the app will promote me if it will make me bigger better stronger whatever I will feel better to use this app Netflix UK oh this is house of cards this is my example from, from two minutes before uh, it's really easy yeah the 
so if you have so many data, you can make it personal. So don't put, because the same message could be okay for boys and can be rubbish for girls. So, so differentiate this somehow, because you can and you should. The timing also, timing, timing is critical. I don't know any of the airlines besides United Airlines and from the tweet which will inform the user with the app on the iPhone, two percent, oh maybe 15 percent, that, ga that this gate has been changed. It's super useful. It's like I will pay, I don't know, five, ten dollars more for my ticket for this whole experience, because it's a part of the whole United Airlines experience, because I know that they are caring about me. wake up. The, the, I don't know if any of you who send notifications bother about the time. It's not especially <laughs> urgent to, uh, to send those notifications in the morning or in the middle of the night. They will hate you. The users will hate you. And of course, I don't call you and, oh, hello, did you know that something boring happened? No, I don't. You will hate me for it. So why, wh why we do it in apps? If you if you have no idea how to do it, just bribe it. <laughs> so give them the coupons, give them money, give them discounts, whatever. If you have no <laughs> idea how to do it, put some money and and of course, every everything. What what I'm talking about? Test, test and analyze. Uh, like I suppose any any tool for the push notifications, like the SaaS services, allows for A/B testing. So A/B testing copy, A/B testing man uh, time, um, and see how the engagement grows or decrease. So. Um, if you can't bribe it, if you can't make it personal, if the time is irrelevant for the user, just give up. Really, this is a great approach. This is a good example. If a user see your notifications fifth, sixth, seventh time in a row, and he don't do anything, just surrender. Maybe he will come back. Maybe he will use it in another week, whatever. But be his friend, be his friend. And I have a, I have a strong, um, I encourage you to blow it up, to make better apps, to don't make rubbish, just nine to five apps like I don't know if the Facebook guy, Krzysztof, is here, but the Facebook app is rubbish. The Facebook experience is rubbish. Uh, the Twitter is okay, okay. I, even there are some, I suppose, iOS uh, developers here. So yesterday was the uh, release of the Tweetbot. It's a super, super, super extra uh, iOS app for Twitter. It costs $5. It does the same what's the, uh, what the, what the free one and of course Android people will laugh at me, but uh, it's somehow better, it's nicer, it has the, it has the final switch, <laughs> it's great, it's, a, it's absolutely unique feature, and then they don't tell it about anywhere. So if I want a dark theme, it's dark. If I want a white theme, like in the sun or whatever, I put two uh, fingers, and like the light switch, I make on the, I make on the uh, screen the switch and the app transition uh, to the to the white one. Um, so, and it's worth it. People, it's a number one paid app in the App Store right now, in the Polish one, and I suppose in the in the in others as well. So it's worth it. It's worth it to make like the apps for ourselves, like you know, because I'm pretty sure most of you know many of this and knows that Facebook is rubbish, and knows that Twitter is, ah, okay, and uh, I don't know, Skycash, whatever. There are so many rubbish apps out there. 
and need to be rescued. And so, so please try be a user, and please try. So in the notification, if you have if you have question, should I send this notification? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I'm pretty sure if you if you need to ask yourself, shall I send it or not? Just no. Just go with the no. Ninety-five percent. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that I'm right. And and that's all. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please ask me or find me on Twitter. Thank you. There's one. Can I? Oh, I have the extra microphone. Okay. So, <laughs> any questions here? I have a question uh, about notifications. Uh, yep. We are now working in our company, uh, trying to do it as much as better. Uh, where that uh, this uh, small line uh, that can be uh, moved on? For example, um, when you're sending some notifications about personal data, for example, I don't want the application to uh, track me too much to yeah. go to some. You as a user or you as a developer? No, no, you, uh, me as a user. Okay. I don't want the application to uh, uh, watch me too much. Yep. And to, uh, can you give some uh, s suggestion uh, what we shouldn't do when we uh, go to personality, to personal user, uh, some personal user information and uh, uh, personal data? Okay, it I would need to see a UI because it's obvious it's a, it's a, it's a question of, of UI and of those choices where to ask this user. Uh, but I think you should be honest. And if you if you feel that you are crossing the line, it, it, if you can tell me one example, like should we ask for this permission right for here, or it would be easier for me because it's a I think it's a general question. For example, and the answer is to be honest. Yes, sir. Uh, for example, we have some contacts. Uh, we have your friends. For example, application know that this is, for example, your brother or sister. Yeah. Should we share some? Personal information about not uh, not a birthday, for example, some personal information about your brother that his contacts, his information. Uh, if he agree, yes. If not, not. So okay. if I'm your brother, for example, and I'm in this app, and I just put shitload amount of information about me in your app, and I'm okay, ha ha ha, and I didn't know that you can share it with uh, you, right? And you will log in as my brother and see those information. No, please, I will leave you. I will go away and tweet about it and Snapchat about it and do everything about it that you, I hate you. <laughs> okay, and. So this is like secrecy. If I tell you something in secret, oh, sorry, I will tell you. And you will tell it someone else, I don't like you. But you can like the person who tells you some interesting information about someone. But, okay, okay. So you will gain uh, friendship in the new user, but you will lost in the, in the, and you will lose the, the first one, yeah, in the first place. But I will, as the new user, will ask myself, how did they get with this information? And maybe the third user will know about me. So I'm not feeling comfortable about that. Okay, and uh, last question. Uh, for example, we have the situation when you get some push notification mm -hmm. about, uh, let's talk about Android or iOS. You get a notification that someone posted uh, to your group, for example, mm -hmm. and then you open this group and uh, you don't mind, you just scroll this post and you don't see this. Should we uh, hide the notification with this group, for example? Because user can open the group, he can uh, not see this post, he can just scroll it, but... But he scroll it? Yes. And you're asking me if you should hide next notification? No, no, no should group? we hide current notification? For example, mm, explain it once again. You get the push notification that someone posted to your group. Uh, yeah. You open the application yeah. and uh, you swipe, open swipe, this swipe. group. Yes. I'm not scrolling, I'm swiping. Okay, Okay. you <laughs> swipe this group. Should we hide notification or we should uh, left it uh, and user should uh, dismiss it manually? No, you should you should hide it. I just made an effort. I just scroll it. Okay, that's all. Thanks. In my opinion, I don't know, but in my opinion, I would I would feel bad if you if the notifications would be still there. It's something broken.
I have seen it. I make an effort. So. Thank you for your question. Okay. I have a question. Um, what if uh, an app is from a new small startup and they just don't have too yes much sir. resources to develop uh, the perfect personalized uh, or notification or an experience? Or if an app is has too much complicated information about the user that uh, it's it will be too hard for user to decide what I want to see from this app or what I don't want to see for like example uh, Facebook has I have, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have 300 friends on Facebook and I want to see something from this guy and not this guy and from this group and not uh, I don't understand the second part I can understand the first part I can I can answer you that uh, what should a small startup without the resources and money do? Uh, I think that it's obvious. Do minim, minim MVP, yeah? minimum viable product. So make it small, keep it small. But make, oh, okay. Uh, I don't like MVP. And because it's, uh, in most cases, it's rubbish. It doesn't work as expected. But there's another acronym, MDP, whatever. Most um, minimum desirable product. So make an app with one desirable feature and and see how it go if if you are right because we are not we, we have assumptions we don't know what users will do will like will not there are assumptions and as more as more experienced we are uh, the better decisions will be but they're only better. They're not 100% sure. So that's why you should be testing everything. Like not everything. I'm not fan. I'm not fan of testing everything. But you should testing, and you should rely your decision on data. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if you're happy with the answer. But pick one desirable feature which you believe. Ask your user. Ask your clients. I don't know what the app is about. Um, so uh, for the second part, it was uh, like, should you ask your users uh, within some time uh, of what their personalization of notifications should be? If uh, you need to, yes. But do it wisely. So, uh, but you said that you have some data about the user, or not? No, you have zero. Yeah, but uh, there is too much data. Too? Oh, there is there is never too much data. <laughs> <laughs> there is never too much data. No, no, I don't believe you. Okay, like and uh, last part. Uh, is there uh, some tutorial uh, of each uh, step to make uh, for this kind of uh, the perfect personalization experience? I'm not friend. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just uh, experience, um, but you can ask me, and, and if you have any difficulties, you can ask me on Twitter. I will try to help you, or ask your friends who use this app. Like if you ask users, ask users is okay, like first clients and etc. It's gorilla, gorilla corridor testing. Uh, sorry, it's not a question. It's like a notice. Uh, sometime before, uh, Microsoft has. Uh, sorry, I didn't see you. Uh, sorry, sorry, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some uh, sometime before, uh, Microsoft has uh, Wizard. Uh, which help would you like? Stro uh, searching help. Strong, not strong, fully, not fully. It was in, um, in the end of nineteenth. It was a matter. It's a, it was a and level uh, of help, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, and when you press F one to get the help in that time, uh, you get. Uh, would you like to have that that kind of help, that kind of help, and that kind of help? Yeah. And uh, this make lots of mm, wrong decisions. Uh, it it was wrong. Uh, they dis uh, decide to remove this, but it was useful sometimes. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would, uh, but you know. I don't know how it was uh, made uh, because uh, all of this idea could be uh, rubbishly made. The question is: uh, uh, sometimes there is a, a too uh, too lot of questions. Uh, would you like? Would you like? Would you like? And yeah. user dislike them at once. How how uh, how would you uh, prefer to do this? If you need a lot of information about uh, what what user would like, but uh, you don't want to ask them a lot of questions at once. Yeah, of course, you can't. You shouldn't. You can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, 
uh, how uh, uh, but you know this example with the Microsoft uh, I suppose if let's say telecom like plus GSM orange and everyone calls them once a year once twice or whatever I call them very very much uh, but because I make problems I m my friends encourage me to to start a blog uh, I'm calling a manager because always where is a problem I'm trying to check uh, customer experience so uh, if they're on the orange hotline would be a button please dial 9 because you are a fucking freaking expert and won't be connected with the technician who knows everything about APN, MMS, configuration I would be so glad I would be so glad and because I know why they have levels of contacts like the lady without any kind of knowledge or very broad knowledge like the sales technician whatever she's uh, like a reception desk on the hotline and this is can be in the apps as well or in the in, in your business online on Microsoft so uh, she's in the reception desk and she decide oh go to the technician oh go to the sales department whatever but if I have this button of this shortcut of this somehow maybe from data maybe from shortcut maybe from a link whatever uh, and the service app will know and will guide me to this place where I should be because I'm somehow tech savvy yeah so I know what's wrong with my iPhone I know I have I have been rebooting my router fifth time don't th it's not a it's not a useful advice for me I have it rebooted I have a reset factory settings it's not helpful uh, so I would go this is a this is okay for me I don't know why Microsoft I don't I don't know this story uh, I'm sure I will dig it and you can send me a link uh, but but the approach, the idea is okay. I think it's okay. Ladies. Okay. Just what? Yeah. Who wants contact are you? Who? Because Sorry. I need to give you. Yeah? Next question. Please, here, the lady. Oh. Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Ladies first. Ladies first. India second. <laughs> okay, so you you told about that application um, with the lever and about um, the sarcasm. The carrot, yeah. Yeah, the carrot. Okay. Uh, so, do you think that incorporating humor in your app is profitable? Because it's it kind of hard to um, make up such ideas of this humor. Uh, so it is funny for the user and uh, you can easily fail on it okay so we yes. would like to add it yes. but we are very afraid that it is it could com be. completely fail our app P completely I I beg you do it make a special button make a second version copy whatever pictures make it okay. really like like yes of course you can fail miserably like you know the Facebook pirate edition like you have Facebook and Facebook can talk to you with the piracy language there is some option and it's on yeah uh, yeah oh, oh dog hello post I don't know I can I can I can't speak I, w I wasn't never a pirate um, so uh, it's not a main feature you don't log in on Facebook and Facebook welcomes you with the pirate diagram whatever no it's a somewhere feature and you can you can be a carrot and you you will be only you will speak only with this uh, with this kind of narrative talk and you can be Facebook and it's a feature 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 you know when we made Woodstock Woodstock is a very fun project like the even the music festivals are the fun projects because it's easy to target the audience like if if uh, if you make up for Woodstock you can talk about dirty shoes beer uh, shitty network and what uh, this kind of stuff it's okay for the for the people you don't need to say it about Pavarotti about yeah to get the idea but did you have the problem with the localization of this humor no ah, with the English yeah a bit not only with the English but you have some jokes or kind of uh, jokes uh, which works in separate areas and in the other parts of the world people don't understand it co completely I didn't bother about it 
So if we had a joke in Polish, dziwnie u mnie działa, which is a programmer joke, it's, it's strange, it works for me, for the English speaking people. Uh, I put it. We put it in the, some alert view. I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember now the story. So, no, so because you know, you know, it's like with the movies. If you see the movie and you put some little detail there or in the ad, which will be understandable only for 5% for users, because of users, wa watchers, whatever, uh, because their intelligence level or IQ is higher, it's great. They feel absolutely great because, uh, for example, you are 5% of user and all of them are majority and watching uh, like Sunday morning television and sorry guys, but and if I make something, some, some joke, some input, some scene, whatever, like this, like this dancing in the rain guy, 90, 90,9% people didn't understand that. I, me either, like I was Googling for it. I'm ending, okay. It's the last call I can, uh, the last talk. Uh, so, but when you, the one, my 1% one user, will know about it, will get it, you will feel great because we are talking, we know that no one will because it was so, it was a glimpse of the second. So it's worth it. Okay, too long, too long didn't hear, it's worth it.